really, dude? Like, you have your kid in your back seat, like, you're on camera, and I see you texting. What kind of influence is that on a kid? What is up, peoples of YouTube? I'm the Motorcycle Mech, and today, once again, we are talking about Harley freaking Davidson. It's something that I've had a lot of people bring up to me, and probably one of the questions I've wanted to answer the most. So, we're going to jump into that here in a second, but if you are new to this channel, or have been watching for a very, very long time, hit that subscribe button down below. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday around 3 o'clock. 3 Eastern Standard Time. Also, don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And something I forgot to mention is if you are subscribed or you are hitting that subscribe button, be sure to hit that bell icon, like ding, ding, ding. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload. I get a lot of views on these videos and according to my analytic, which is where YouTube's just like, this is what's going on. A lot of you guys don't subscribe to my channel that watch my videos. So I'd be much obliged if you would. Are really close to 500 subs. At that 500 subs, I am giving away a couple pairs of these gloves. But going back to what I was talking about, today we are talking about Harley Davidson, why everything is an option or an accessory. It seems with Harley, the more standard options you want on your bike, the more you have to pay. And in this video, I'm going to address some of those and kind of show you ways around it so that you can get bikes to offer the options. But before I talk about the bikes that have these options, let's talk about some of the options that Harley offers. With this bike right here, here's the problem I run into. With Harley, everything is an option. With these Milwaukee 8s, the only option you really have is Harley. You can only really use Screaming Eagle on your bike if you don't want to avoid that fact warranty and if it depends on the dealership you're going to but they could be a dick about you having non EPA compliant pipes on your bike that does void your warranty the tip sensor if you accidentally tip your bike over that can void your warranty there any warranty you put on the bike though does also not go towards craftsmanship like I've said before in one of my videos my spokes on this bike right here are rusty and they will not do anything about it because it's not covered under warranty and I know you're saying well if you have the wheel and tire I do I do have the wheel and tire warranty on this bike and they will not do anything about rusty spokes so that's something I'm gonna actually be addressing this winter and I'm gonna do a budget way to actually make your rims look really nice really cool without having to spend all that money but all these things that Harley offers well I had a conversation with a person I believe it was on Facebook and one of the things I videos I posted and they're like you know what Harley intentionally sends the bikes from the factory retarded now that may not be a secret because they say they have good power and that's kind of a aggravating thing when you have to go through and actually buy stuff to make your bike run the way it should and even nowadays with the Milwaukee 8s the stuff that they're putting into these bikes is not helping it run the way it should when you have such a high output motor and I've talked about this before and you choke it up it's not gonna have the power and the breathing that it needs like they have different heads in the scream eagle ones like this has four valves per head but the exhaust valves are smaller but with this 114 on my bike is not a cvo motor i mean it is in a sense but it's not the requirements it would take to make it a full cvo would be the new head a different cam i mean a, a few other things but that's also looking with like the bigger bikes like the touring models all right there's no roking that comes factory with like speakers like this it's an option but if you want those speakers right there you could buy a street glide spend the extra or four or three or four grand and get those speakers put on your bike the problem is that you can get these same exact speakers or a different style put on a road king for a lot less than what harley wants for like a street glide and you may not want a street glide and let's look at the street glide they released the new what is it the limited no no uh it's like a street glide but has no radio no fun it's just a base model. I mean, and when I say base model, on that bike, everything is an option. So instead of being able to afford a street glide, that would be a good thing to do. You're gonna run into the issue of having to buy this bike and then pay more for these accessories because this is an option on the motorcycle, like a radio. But when you go through and have all these options that you can add to this one motorcycle, what does it do for you? You're spending more money in the long run versus spending the money up front. That's the problem. If people want a Harley so bad, they had to be cheaper about it. That's why for me, when I was looking at bikes, A, this Heritage caught my eye and I was sitting next to a really nice 107 Roking Special. We had to look at what I was going to get more out of. And a Road King is not a bad bike, neither are, I mean, I'm not really a fan of street glides, everyone knows that, but street glides aren't really bad motorcycles, neither are road glides. They're all good bikes, but then it comes down to price. I could get a 114 motor in this specific motorcycle, a no soft tail, for what, 21000 Like if you just bought the bike on the floor? 
but a 114 with all the radio and all that stuff street glide special is going to run you like 29 grand so then we come back to the options of what you want to ride now if you do want that street glide or that road glide you might have to save up longer wait longer see if you can get a better deal on it or the smart thing to do would be a buy a model year back the downside with that is if you want to buy a 2018 road glide special or street glide special or road king special you're going to be getting the 107 instead of the 114 and also with that 114 going to the special models hardly increase the price from the 107 specials they had a couple other cosmetic things and then they said oh no this is special this is the price you gotta pay but we go back to you're spending thirty thousand dollars on a bike or let's say 25 to 30 grand on a motorcycle to make your bike breathe more or run better or do everything that you want to do it's an option for you now it's not a standard feature and it seems like nowadays that harley doesn't know the word standard is not in their vocabulary and if it is it's gonna be on like a cvo or like a special and when you get to those prices you're gonna be paying for the special or the cvo or ultras or limiteds like anything past the base model and their base models yeah for like a road glide it comes with absolutely nothing except the radio it doesn't come with any cool features or anything special it's a base model and those are going to run you probably around 24 grand now later on you want to improve that audio to stage two man you're probably looking at another like fifteen hundred dollars if it's just not the price of the parts and a labor if not more you want to put a new exhaust on that bike because those harley mufflers suck well you're there you go again you're spending another probably at least five hundred dollars you want to get new head pipes for it because those have those cats in there that can really restrict it and you're not really going to gain much power because if you had a muffler that flows great and putting them onto a bike that's already got the cats and the head pipes but then again you take those cats out of the head pipes you get new head pipes your warranty is voided there's not really anything high flow that's not going to void your warranty right now and s, s might have something but then again you're going at s and s and it's got a ridiculous price but heated grips i mean adjustable windshields you can't get those i can you might be able to get them on harleys but the right size windshield the right size bars every everything's they don't bring out bikes with like really cool standard stuff a, a comfortable ass seat because everyone knows that when you buy a, a, a harley there's a 99 percent chance you're gonna be changing that seat out and that's just the way it is they don't come with highway pegs on there they do come with water cooling they don't have their extra like different radiators so you can actually take hard lowers off if you want to connect your phone to the apple play and all that kind of stuff you have to get a whole module if you have an older radio so if you don't have that touch screen on the 2020s it came standard but anything before that if you wanted to actually use apple carplay or anything like that to be able to connect all your devices together to work out and operate properly you had to get a whole nother module and that module itself is not cheap at all then you look at bikes like this where it still comes with the spoke rims and if you do want to end up getting something different you don't like these spoke rims or you live in a place like me like michigan that's got bumps all over the fucking roads try and find something that's going to survive a lot better the only all wheels they offer for this bike specifically from are called machete wheels you're looking at 600 dollars a wheel something else that harley has that's a, an option and it's not standard is led bulbs i mean how cheap is it for them to be able to just from the factory stick an led bulb in there but then we go back to why they won't do that because it's not an opportunity to make money if they put led all these accessories on the bike they don't get that little extra in the end you know people might not add that extra parts on there and they might and if they do they're going to be spending the money to have those extra parts on there now i don't know if this comes down to like it's the bottom line it's what harley want needs to make money or if that's the only way they make money because if it is i mean that's stupid the, you know for this price of one bike right here i probably i mean i know for a fact i could have got some other one a couple other bikes and i really hate the fact that they don't see the benefits of moving forward and making stuff standard on their motorcycles instead of trying to make that extra dollar on that twenty five thousand dollar motorcycle put all these things on there because you're already making your money you everything is branded yours and even if another company is manufacturing you're paying pennies on the dollar for the parts actually worth so if some harley exec or someone from harley can actually see this video and actually make a difference do it because you don't want to lose your customer base yeah you're going to get all the people that are going to be super loyal to harley but if parts become so expensive or you guys are trying to fuck everyone out of their warranties and not warranting your workmanship like you call yourself an american company and you don't put any value or backing to your 
craftsmanship, like having rusty spokes on a bike that's two years old, you gotta make some changes. This isn't the old days. You do not have the people there backing your support. Because all those people that you have in the Babers Boomer generation, I hate to say it, are either dying or getting to the point where they can't ride or getting old. You guys need to step up and be the pinnacle, be the way that it should be. Be the freaking top of the list. So when someone says, what kind of motorcycle should I get? They're gonna, someone's easily gonna say Harley. They're gonna say, you know, go up to the local Harley dealer. They got these bikes. There's a lot of stuff that comes on them already. And a lot of these parts on there are good for safety too. So you increase the safety of your motorcycle like LEDs. You wanna make all these incandescent light bulbs standard. Your safety of your customer should be your number one priority. And in 2019, almost 2020, Y'all should be putting the best protection out there so people stop getting fucking rear-ended because someone may not have seen their, their taillights and stuff kick on. And if you're going to blame that person because, well, why didn't they put LEDs on there? Probably because they didn't want to pay the extra $250 for the bulbs. You have so much opportunity in front of you to grow as a company to do some great things. You got things like the Street Fighter, the Panamera, all the other bikes that you guys are planning for the next decade. But it doesn't matter if you're doing that if you're gonna keep putting generic parts on a motorcycle. If you guys agree with me on this, tweet out to Harley, share a Harley, tell Harley. The stuff needs to change, that everything should not be an option anymore. They need to start making stuff standard without changing their prices, because I know they can. We are living in a time where production of everything can be made super cheap. And Harley is an American assembled motorcycle, but you know, parts don't always come from here. We should not be in a time where I'm told at 26 years old, well, if that if you want a Harley, that's what you're gonna end up getting. I always include my parts in a list underneath this video. So go down to the description, you can see all the links for all the parts. But for now, guys, I'm gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I sure the hell know I did. I got a lot off my chest and a little bit of rage out about what's going going on with Harley and why everything is an option or an accessory versus being standard on motorcycles. I want to know what you guys have to say about it and then I don't want to hear once again Harley's garbage or well that's what you get when you buy Harley you should have bought someone else. I'm tired of things just being standard. Everything should not be an option with Harley. It should be actually you know in today's world everyone else is doing it. Why the hell aren't they making stuff standard? And as always as 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 I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon tea, brunch, lunch, nightcap, crumpet, McGriddle, bacon sandwich, and remember to always ride for freedom. Goodbye. They, know this shit is old school. they say I'm not supposed to, but don't make my own rules. Dog, this shit is old school. Yo, bitch, man, that's so new. She been on my whole crew. Yeah, that chick is ran through. Ha. This shit sound like old tool. Pull up and I drop the roof. And that bitch a old school. These niggas acting brand new. 